Hi guys, it's Mary with Flip Your Dog Yoga, AKA Hard Left Yogi. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, all that social media stuff, all of it. All right guys, so why does your instructor tell you to relax your face? Because every muscle within your body is connected. So I can tell where you are feeling the posture by how your face is glitching out, right? Where you're holding your attention, what faces you're making. Also, it tells me that you're probably not breathing. So gripping intention and not breathing with quality. When we contract our face, we have what's called myofascial lines. So it's connective tissue that goes throughout the whole of our body. What happens is, is all of these tissues begin in the feet, come up the body, come from the hands into the body and end into the face. So essentially your jaw is connected to your ass, <laughs> right? So, so these muscles have a connective tissue that comes all the way down the back of our body, through our glutes and even down to the soles of your feet. And so if you want to see a really great trick, grab a tennis ball. I'm gonna grab a little ball. I don't have my tennis ball. Probably get the dog's attention from doing this. So grab a ball and what you're gonna do is you're gonna, I'm gonna to prove to you why, how everything's connected, right? Real briefly, you're just gonna bend over and you're gonna feel which hamstring, the back of the leg, which one feels tighter. Today, my left one feels tighter. So I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna use preferably a tennis ball or a racquetball. This ball's a little too soft, but I'm going to intensely roll the arch of my foot out. Rolling and rolling, getting to the inner arch, getting over that heel, getting up towards the toes, very aggressively rolling to make it like a good deep tissue massage, right? And so we're gonna do this for another 30 seconds or so, right? And so you can pretend that I did it for that time frame, right? You continue on. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna bend over and you're gonna feel how that hamstring has now loosened up and it's probably more loose than the other one was in the beginning. So why is that? The fascial connect connective tissue runs up the back of the leg, the one from the sole of the foot, all the way into your hamstring, and then of course up your back and into your jaw, your adipose muscle across the top of your head. So what happens is, is you get in these yoga poses and you start pulling on that connective tissue, and basically you're trying to grit your teeth and hold on to that connective tissue with your wincing and your frowning and all your faces, basically that whole line of connective tissue ending in your face, you're gripping and trying to hold on to it. And so by us telling you to relax the face, it'll relax that connective tissue from your face all the way down your body, down to your feet. So we have connective tissue that comes down through the front of our body that helps us with our twists and our forward folds. So it's all throughout your body and your face will respond to it no matter what pose you're in. Another thing that relaxing your face does helps you bring attention to proprioception and how you're feeling in a pose. Sometimes we just get into these poses and we're just like, we're working it. We're, we're, we've got some, we've got some disciplinarian behind us slashing their whip. You're not good enough. Do that warrior, right? Something's going on and we're just gripping and holding this pose and we're not truly breathing and being present. And so when the teacher tells you to relax the face, all of a sudden you become aware of that tension that you're holding. You'll take a breath, which will help relieve the tension, and then you'll settle into doing the posture. Because you have to remember, yoga is not only strength and holding, but it's also expansion and relaxation too. So you don't wanna be overworking one as opposed to the other. When we relax into the poses, then we really get the best out of the pose because now blood is flowing, there's oxygen going to all of our cells because we're actually breathing and we're not um, clenching and gripping. So 
with the release of tension, as I said, came that inhale of breath, you'll naturally, when you release gripping, you will naturally inhale. And when you start to focus back on the breath, the mind will start to go timeless, the posture will become easier, and then the face will stay relaxed. So that's the reason we tell you to relax your face. There's a real value in it. So it's the value is relaxing the myofascial connective tissue throughout the whole of the posture that ending in your face. It also brings awareness to how you're holding tension, much like we'll feel our shoulders, we'll relax our shoulders in the afternoon and the next thing we know our shoulders are back in our ears. And then other is to start to make that flow of the breath go again. So relax your face, smile. Bye guys.